Hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We thank God for his mercy and love and pray for a greater mathematical experience. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this video, we introduce an expanded number system called the complex number system, which is denoted by this. Complex number. It is number of the form, is numbers of the form A plus IB, where A, B are real numbers. All right. The complex number system comes as a result of some unsolved problems in the set of real numbers. For example, in the set of real numbers, quadratic equations like this, S squared, plus one equal to zero is unsolvable. As simple as it looks, as innocent as it looks, is unsolvable in the set of real numbers. Why? This is because trying to solve this, you are going to encounter square root of a negative and square root of a negative, you know, in the set of real numbers, is undefined okay square root of a negative undefined the set of real numbers all right but are we going to allow this problem to die off like that mathematicians said no there is a way out so they introduced a complex number known as a i all right they defined so the defined i to be equal to square root of minus one, okay? And with this definition, we can now provide solution to problems of this form, all right? So with this now, we have that s squared is equal to minus one. Therefore, x is equal to square root of minus one a complex number known as i okay now look at this problem s squared plus four equal to zero as simple as it looks is unsolvable it's not solvable in in the set of real okay because the set of real has no answer to square root of a negative number all right but with the introduction of complex number we have that this is equal to, x squared is equal to minus four. X is equal to square root of minus four, plus or minus, of course. All right? Now, with the knowledge of sort, we know that square root of a product is equal to the product of each individual sort. All right. Now, what's the product here? Minus one times four. Okay, so observe that this is descending as sort of minus one times four. Sort of minus one times four, which is equal to sort of minus one times sort of four. All right, now what is sort of minus one? We know it, it is what? is defined as i, so we have i. Now for this one, we don't have problem because it is defined on the set of real. It's equal to two. All right, so we have I2 to I, all the same. All right, now remember, it is plus or minus. So we have plus or minus to I. All right, observe that this is a solution to this problem because if you square this, you are going to get a minus four. All right, how two I squared is equal to 4 times i squared, which is times i squared, and i squared is equal to minus 1. So 4 times minus 1, which is equal to minus 4. And you see that minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So you can see that that's the solution. We have the solution in the set of our complex numbers. Remember we said that any number of this form is a complex number. A plus IB, we are A, B are real numbers. So we see that 
complex number is made up of two parts. We have the real part and the imaginary part. When the real part is equal to zero, that is when A is equal to zero, we have what we call pure imaginary, okay? For example, if you have something like 2i, observe that 2i is of this form because 2i is equal to zero plus 2i, okay? Zero is a real number, all right? So 2i is what? It's a complex number, but it is pure imaginary, all right? Because the, the, the real part, because the real part is equal to zero. All right. Also, you can have a situation where the imaginary part is equal to zero. That is B equal to zero. For example, two. Two is equal to two plus zero I. All right. Good. Good. You know, two, two is a real number. Yes. Is a real number, and from what you are seeing here, is also a complex number. All right. So from this, we we see that every real number is a complex number. Okay, but not every complex number is a real number. All right. For example, this is a complex number. It's not a real number. Okay. This is a comp. This is a real number. Is a complex number. So the set of real number is a proper subset of the set of a complex number. All right, other examples of complex numbers, four plus two i, this one is a real as well as a complex number, okay? Observing that the b is equal to zero here. All right, equality of complex numbers. So if we have z1 equal to a plus ib, and z2 equal to c plus id, we say that z1 is equal to z2, if and only if, it is if and only if, A is equal to C, A is equal to C, and B is equal to D. So we end it here. I still call on you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Please remember to share with your friend. Put down your comment. If you like what I'm doing, please thumb up. And remain blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.